New year, new Battlefield wish list. Here it comes. This is my Battlefield 2042 wish list for 2024 that will probably most definitely never happen. But first, there are a few things that we're not going to talk about since it's been covered in almost every other Battlefield YouTuber. And that is platoons, server browsers, and spawning. And we've, we've all covered it. We've all talked about it during the streams. We've talked about it in other people's videos. It's, it's, it's just not going to change. Also, we're not talking about body armor and specialist in this video, even though I want to talk about body armor because it doesn't belong in the game, but that's just me. So with that out of the way, here is my top 10 wish list for Battlefield 2042 in 2024. Number 10, season eight through 12. <laughs> I know we're getting season seven. I'm excited about it. I can't wait. I want to know more about the maps. Can't wait to see everything. I just want to know if we're going to get seasons eight through 12. But man, to have three full years of content, wow, that's never been done before. So, but anyway, I'm, I'm happy where we are. I hope we keep going. Number nine. Keep the 64 player close quarters feeling maps coming. Like, I don't mean that I want Battlefield to switch over to only infantry kind of gameplay. That's not what I'm talking about. But I do like the idea of having smaller maps, having areas that infantry only kind of feeling. Look, I'm not a big fan of the old hourglass map. But the one part of it that I did like was the stadium. Love that part. And I miss the fact that they don't have that. I was thinking that they were going to have some part of the stadium in the new map, and I was completely wrong. I enjoy the new map. I like the way it is. I have a couple problems with it. But overall, I like the idea of having that more close quarters feeling. Even, I know some people don't like it. I understand it's not their favorite map in the world, but Reclaimed is a fun battlefield feeling map. It feels like something out of Battlefield 4. I like that. I hope they keep that coming. Number eight, DICE, please support the modes you've spent time and resources creating, like shutdown, control, retribution. What is retribution, you ask? <laughs> Kevin, what's going on? This is the game mode that came during the Battle of Norvik with the release of Spearhead. Great map, by the way. Retribution is a 16v16 mode combining conquest, breakthrough, and rush elements. It's a fun game mode. Look, my point is, is that they have time and resources spent on these game modes. Bring them back. We have shutdown. We have control every now and then that comes out. I know control is a part of our kind of our rotation, but I haven't seen retribution. I want to see that come back. It was a lot of fun. Number seven. Show me if I'm attacking or defending during the pre-launch screen on breakthrough or any attack defend game mode. That's it. That's that's I mean that that's really it. I just want to know whether I don't have time to memorize every single map to know if if I'm this if I'm this faction from US or Russia, am, am I attacking or defending? I I don't have time for that. Number six. Persistent servers. Look, I know I said we're not talking about server browsers, but this is the next best thing for me. Now, I have no idea if they could do this or not. I'm not a developer, but think of the benefits this would have for the community. Staying on the same server provides the community with a better variety of maps, along with attacking and defending for certain modes. Don't have server browsers, I get it, but why not have persistent servers? Don't kick me out. The whole point of of being in a game is that you want to keep players in there. You don't, you want to reduce what's called churn. You don't want the players to leave. The best way to do that is keep them in a consistent server. Don't let me think about leaving. I can't leave because I'm chained to this desk while I'm streaming. That's right. I stream every Monday through Thursday, starting at one o'clock Eastern time, sometimes Fridays and sometimes Saturdays. Check your local listings. Now we're at the halfway point. So here's a bonus one. <laughs> Bonuses, make Battlefield 2042's Hazard Zone free to play. While we're at it, make Battlefield 5's Firestorm free to play. Also, I have no clue if this is possible, but make them portal accessible? Question mark. I'm just an idea guy. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Let's go. Number five. Utilize the entirety of large maps for smaller modes. Don't just use the same spot and location for every time you play Team Deathmatch when you get on Kaleidoscope, for example. Kaleidoscope, you're always around that stadium area. Aren't there other areas on Kaleidoscope where you could have a fun Team Deathmatch mode or any other mode? Like, why does it have to be the same one? Why don't you have a variety of little areas? I don't, I don't understand that. So yeah, that's it. Just have a variety, like utilize all these large maps that we still have. These are still very big maps. I know that they've condensed them down. I know that they've made some adjustments, but they're still huge. Utilize that. Number four, 
multiple path versions for attack defend modes. So if US is attacking and normally they go out and then to the right and then down the hill and blah, 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 blah. How about a different path? They start from a different location. That's what I mean by different path. They may end in the same place, but maybe start from a different location. Prime example of that is Exposure. Exposure had two versions, or has two versions. We only play the one version now, but for the longest time, we played attacking from breakthrough standpoint. We attack from a different location. Why not change that? Actually, the pretty much the entire path was a little bit different. Bring that back. Give us two versions. You never know what you're gonna get. If you have several versions of different paths that you can take, it's going to make it feel a, a much more richer environment. You're, you're layering the flavors, right? You're layering, it's the same map, but you're just, you're changing it up a little bit. As my wife says in cooking, you're layering the flavors. And this is gonna roll into number three change directions on attack defend modes. That's right, change directions. I've seen this in chaos modes, right? Chaos modes, they have their own crazy path. Just change directions. Who cares if it's Russia or the US you're going into because you know we need to know if you're attacking or defending, but you may be coming from a different direction. Wouldn't that be fun? So now you have multiple paths that you could take on one map. That's almost two maps. And then you're changing directions. Wow, that's almost like four different versions of the same map. Again, idea guy, just throwing them out there. Now we're getting to the last two. What do you think so far? Do you like this? Is this something that you're, you're into? If you like this, do me a huge favor. Hit the like button. It would really help us out and I'd greatly appreciate it. Number two, remove sectors from Conquest. That's it, sectors belong in attack defend game modes. They don't belong in Conquest. In my opinion, they don't belong in Conquest. Especially the older Battlefield 3 maps. I'm sorry, yeah, Battlefield 3, Battlefield Bad Company 2, Battlefield 3 maps, they don't belong there. You don't need one sector that has three objectives. It's like you got three sectors and you end up having this weird fight. Like just for, give it a shot, Dice. Give it a shot, give it a shot. See how it works. See if you, if you how the player play, players handle it. Like sector free weekend. Just, I'm curious that what the numbers would be like. I'm, I really want to know. I don't like sectors in Conquest. I think it just, it changes the, 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 the way the map flows. I'm just curious what you guys think about that one. And then last but not least, this is probably gonna be the most controversial of them all. We'll see. Number one, make 128 player conquests class free. That's right, now you heard it here first, folks. Make 128 player conquests class free. Originally, this was supposed to be a sandbox. Bring that feeling of what it was like to play Battlefield 2042 when it launched. If you want to play Sundance and fly through the air with the greatest of ease, with a rocket on your back, firing at choppers, firing at everything around you, and you can hit it, do it. Who cares? It's a big sandbox. Make 128 player class free. Hashtag class free 128. Let's go. Come on. Do that. I think it'd be a lot of fun. What do you think? You could have two versions if you really wanted to. Just have one version that is class free. I think it'd be a blast. Now, if you want to see me go from doubt to domination with the AC42, you should do that right here in this next video. You should click on it. Go watch that. There you go. Click, click on it. You got to click on it. You got to click on it, Donnie.